19-year-old Zara Rutherford was born to fly. The Belgian-British teen is the daughter of two pilots, so when she announced that she wanted to fly a tiny two-seat plane around the world alone, her parents were fully on board. I always thought it would be too unrealistic, it was impossible. It was complex, it was expensive, she told USA Today. Then I figured, wouldn't it be better to start when I'm younger than rather than older, because then you get caught up in life and careers and jobs, and I didn't know if I would ever have an opportunity like this. I told my dad, this is an idea I have, and what do you think? Straight away, he says, yes, we will find sponsorship, we'll make it work. They did make it work, because Rutherford is currently in the midst of her solo flight across the globe, and if she completes it, she will be the youngest woman ever to do so. The record is currently held by Shaista Wise, who flew around the globe solo when she was 30 years old. Wise, who originally connected with Rutherford via a LinkedIn message, said she actively encouraged the young pilot to take down the record. I remember thinking, I cannot be the youngest one. I'm not that young, Wise told USA Today. Here comes Zara, and she's just so ambitious and very smart. She reached out to me, to say that she was going to do this. The first thing she asked me, she said, is it okay if I break your record? I was like, absolutely Zara. Records are meant to be broken. Rutherford's route began in her home nation, Belgium. She took off from an airport in Brussels on August 11th and has since made stops in the United Kingdom, Iceland, Greenland, and Canada. She is currently in New York City, where she has two rest days, and her next stop is North Carolina where she will visit the Wright Brothers National Memorial in Kitty Hawk. The teen aviator flies for approximately five hours nearly every day, and the longest solo flight she had ever done before her world record attempt was about four and a half hours. Rutherford said she avoids eating or drinking much before she boards her plane so she doesn't need to use the bathroom while she is in the air. I say that, but on my flight from Goose Bay, Canada, to Montreal, I had to make an emergency stop to go to the bathroom, she laughed. The long hours in the plane can get lonely, but Rutherford said she mostly listens to podcasts to pass the time. She said her favorite is 20-year-old YouTuber Emma Chamberlain's podcast Anything Goes. Especially like over Greenland, you lose radio almost immediately, so it's really quiet, she said. If you get a podcast that's just one person talking, then it feels like there's someone there with you. Rutherford said her favorite stop so far was in Kulusu, Greenland because of the scenic landscape. I saw my very first whale, so that was amazing, and it's such a stunning sight, she said.